Hey Leo, this is Soul. And Leo, this is um, your bi-weekly messages beginning January 29th, um, ending February 11, 2018. I apologize. I wanted to get your videos up a little earlier or sooner, but uh, I ran into a bit of a, a problem. I have uh, developed a flu. So in keeping my word to you guys, I, I have to put these videos out here and do my best. So if I sound congested, excuse me, congested or nasally, it's because I am dealing with flu uh, symptoms, okay? But anyway, Leo, I hope all is well. Um, this message or reading is going to be for Leo Moon and Leo Rising. Uh, for the most part, that I'm looking at the energy here it looks pretty good there's uh for some of you there's the start of something new with the ace of pentacles showing up in the upright and this is your overall energy for the entire two week period of time so either leo wants to start something new this ace of pentacles uh could represent a new job it could also represent a you know relationship a new relationship but there's something that leo wants to start and the Ace of Pentacles is a, a new beginning. Also, I like the Pentacles because it's uh, whatever it is that you're about to uh, get yourself involved in, whether it's a new job or a new relationship, then the Pentacles offer stability, security, and longevity. So you can think about that. And the Ace of Pentacles is in the upright position. So um, always fresh starts and new beginnings with the Aces, and it's in the upright. So I like that. Okay. Then there could be for some of you, who may be, uh, because it is uh, the Ace of Pentacles, and Pentacles represent Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, male or female. So whether or not you have exchanges with those energies, it doesn't really matter. But there could be some Leos who are either thinking about uh, doing some sort of business venture, and it's with another person, because the Two of Wands, which is your energy, follows that Ace of Wands, okay? Two of Wands. So, But it may be, a relationship as well, because the two represents two people, but it's an exchange between uh, you and another person. Wands, of course, represent your energy and that energy of, of Aries and Sagittarius, male or female. But this two of wands is normally the laying down uh, foundations of plans and ideals coming to you. OK, for some, it could be, um, you know, the lack of progress. Uh, when it comes to not only a relationship, because this is a general reading, so I'm covering all areas and aspects, but it could be almost anything that's going on in your life where things aren't moving fast enough for you. OK, also, someone is in a relationship and the magician is underneath that two of wands, which is your energy. Somebody's mask is about to come off in a relationship, friendship, or it could be. Uh, family. So I don't want to say exclusively for, um, you know, a love romantic relationship, but whatever applies to you, Leo, this is what I'm getting. The magician is a major arcana and is showing up in the reverse. And, you know, in contrast, I always say when it's in the upright position, someone's about to put on a mask so they can uh, obtain or achieve whatever it is that they're going for or, you know, coming after you for, I should say. That could be money, love, sex, you name it. But someone is dealing with someone already. And see, because the reason why it's in the uh, reverse and I'm picking up this one message, whether it's a, rom a romantic partnership, friendship or something going on in the family, they can't sustain this uh, energy. OK, it's only uh, kept up until whatever, you know, uh, whatever they achieve or whatever they it, well, excuse me, whatever it is that they try to get from you. They only keep this uh, energy up because it's, it's too much for them. OK, so if you already know about uh, the magician and what I have spoken about, the magician before is somebody who's usually reckless on the negative side, narcissistic, sociopathic. They don't give a damn about how their actions come across to you. Sometimes they could be uh, individuals who lack total empathy. OK, and also, too, because it is a major arcana and the things that you still let me make a connection here. The things that, you know, on the positive side is the, um, you know, all the elements in the upright position. Um, 
Yeah, all the elements in the upright position so that you can manifest. Things are available to you. Okay. All right. Yeah, I said bear with me, Leo. <laughs> Whew, this flu is taking its toll. Anyway, some of you may be feeling like you don't have all those things to manifest or bring those, you know, things into your life that you want. Okay. But that's only temporary energy. I feel it's temporary, but I specifically was, um, had to go back here because this is related to, uh, either a romantic relationship, a friendship or a family situation where this magician's mask comes off. And I did skip around, but prior to that is the eight of cups. So the eight of cups, is always about some sort of emotional garbage baggage it could be you know walking away from a situation so it could be a connection to if the person's mask falls off or comes off it leaves you emotionally upset and then you want to walk away or it could be it wouldn't be them because they don't have any emotions all right so don't worry about that so something's going on here but it just could be separate messages for leos who might be in the next two week period of time dealing with some sort of emotional aspect now it doesn't necessarily have to be I always have to say this related to a relationship you know it could be children because cups represent children for me it could be uh, almost anything but whatever it is that you may encounter you don't want to deal with it no more you know you want to walk away you just want to bury it and it's you know it could be other people's emotional uh garbage that they're trying to dump on you and it's like you in the boat and it's like okay i'm just leaving this shit behind i don't even want to deal with it no more okay could be you know cancer scorpio or pisces male or female uh, possible exchanges, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. It could be with any zodiac sign. All right. Next card that's following this two of uh, wands, getting back in sequence here, Leo, is the four swords in the upright. And this is pretty good. This is uh, rest, relaxation, rejuvenation. This is trip planning, but you're not going to, you know, actually take the trip. You're just planning the trip, possibly. Um, this is all about um, just doing me. Some of you might want to. Um, good time to you know visit beauty parlors or get that makeover that you always wanted for others it could be you know getting that massage that you always dreamt about or thought about this is the four of swords talking to me um yeah it's about you know doing something for yourself as opposed to doing something for others all right but it's not a bad card others are planning trips but they're not ready to go six of swords will give me the trip the actual move all right so Four of uh, swords in the upright represents air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female. But it could be uh, if there are any exchanges, it could be with any zodiac sign in its energy. Now, eight of uh, swords is following um, the four of swords. Now, even though I say that this is still going to turn out, I feel for some of you, a pretty good week because uh we have other cards here that are very, very positive. This is somebody who is worried. This is a worry card, okay? This is anxiety. This is a card of not sleeping too well because you're uh, worried about too many things going on. It's creating some sort of conflict, okay? This is the Eight of Swords. And there's some sort of unknown fear. And if you notice, the person is covering their eyes because it's like you're afraid to see uh, what is before you. And really... It may not be actual. It may be just something that you're um, bringing on to your own self, causing the conflict, the Eight of Swords energy. All right. Sleepless nights, anxiety, worry. And again, it could be and feeling like you're trapped because this person here not only has their eyes closed, but their feet or it seems like it's uh, locked into like some sort of guillotine or something like that, if I'm calling that correctly. And they feel like they're trapped and they can't move. That could all just be um, all in your mind and stuff. All right. So, again, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, male or female might be some conflict in, uh, in a, uh, excuse me, conflict of uh, interest with air signs, possibly, since I have two swords. Already talked about the Eight of Cups. Whatever that Eight of Cups is for you could be, like I said, something going on with children and they're feeling some type of way emotionally. It also could be. Um, since the, <coughs> excuse me, the Ace of Pentacles is up top, it could be also uh, a birth, 
But if it is a birth and it's not related to Leo, or it could be someone that Leo knows and there's multiple births here. OK, like twins, triplets or whatever. That could be the case. I'm just giving you an example. It's nothing, you know, written in stone. Already talked about the magician in the reverse position, the knave or the page of uh, wands. This is you again. So the pages, aces and the eight of wands always for me and will always remain that way. Be news and surprises coming in. Uh, expectedly or unexpectedly, okay? It doesn't really say whether or not whoever is going to be. See, because the the page could be someone who delivers a surprise or news, all right? Because this is a court card. Um, but I always get a positive feel with this uh, energy, the eight of, especially the eight of uh, wands and the ace of wands. So it's all about news and surprises. And... I'm just checking out that he's holding a letter. This might have something to do or direct link with this uh, rest, relaxation, rejuvenation. I don't know. Somebody's this could be uh, like an invitation. Going to a parlor or a spa or something like that, but it's, it's a surprise. It may be a surprise to you. That's just an example again, Leo, but I still feel that within this next two week period of time, there's some sort of news or surprises coming your way. Now, I'm, I pay attention to the direction that the court cards are facing. He's facing in the past. So it may be something that's tied into the Ace of Pentacles um, when it comes to, you know, like a job or getting someone getting a job or a promotion that they didn't expect. That could be part of this uh, energy. All right. Uh, Aries and Sagittarius uh, individuals could be uh, part of this energy, but it doesn't really matter. And like I said before, it could be uh, whoever delivers the news could be an actual fire sign, some kind of news or surprise coming in. But I always get the positive, more so the positive, because the final card that I have for you is the nine of cups in the upright position. So, of course, the nine of cups does definitely relate to love and relationships. Also, too, it could be that birth that I was speaking about. Uh, if it's not a, a female Leo, it could be someone that you know gives birth. It's the yes answer to any romantic question that you may have. I sometimes equate the the Nine of Cups with the star card, hopes, wishes, and dreams becoming fulfilled. This is a card of uh, satisfaction, emotional happiness, and contentment. So I feel that some of you, you know, after it's all said and done, someone has to get rid of the uh, unknown fears, unnecessary fears, and, and um, begin to sleep again. You're worried about something. Some of the I'm, I'm reading for is worried about something. This could be a relationship since it mirrors the two of wands. It could be a relationship uh, concern. Somebody's worried about that. It might be tied into the magician, the eight of cups, all kinds of stuff going on here. But for the most part, I feel that the reading for you for the next two weeks is more positive than it is negative since we have the Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, Page of uh, Wands, and then we have the Four of Swords. Even the Two of Pages is not uh, bad. It's just, you know, some some of you may seem like uh, or feel like, you know, things aren't moving fast enough for you. This is the stagnation and the lack of progress in all areas, not just relationships. Someone may be in conflict with an air sign. Or a relationship in general, okay? But you do have the Nine of Cups by, uh, you know, it all being said and done by the end of the two weeks. Hopefully, the Nine of Cups energy comes to a lot of you, which is really good because it's in the upright position. All right? And then, of course, Cups represent children. So, like I said, it could be something going on with the uh, children of uh, Leo. But this looks like a pretty good two weeks, all right? Pay attention to that uh, magician in the reverse. Somebody's mask comes off. All right, Leo, this is your uh, bi-weekly messages. I hope it's helpful and beneficial. Look at your moon sign and your rising signs, even though it's not mandatory. And I want to wish you all a very safe upcoming two weeks ahead. Sending out a lot of love and light to you. Until I talk to you again, Leo, please be well. Bye.